1978, we got involved with Co-op Radio and helped start the first gay, lesbian radio show in Canada. And it's still going on um, 34 years later in basically the same time slot on Thursdays. We would have people in, local gay, lesbian performers, and they'd perform live, and we'd do some recording sessions of them. We all did a variety of different positions, and it was a collective approach. And <clears throat> that was some of the finest uh, early uh, years of my uh, gay, lesbian uh, activism. When we first started the Coming Out show, we were only broadcasting on FM, which meant uh, you had to be within the range to receive the FM signal. But after a few years, um, they went onto cable so they could be received in the interior. And we started getting letters from people, uh, youth in the interior, who were thanking us for our show because it was the only thing they could find that told them they weren't the only p people in the world like this and they could listen to it with their headphones. One of the things that have m motivated most of the people in the gay lesbian rights movement, certainly myself and Bill, was to make sure that we're never in the position again where somebody thinks they're the only person like that in the world and feel like they have to end themselves. For a while, uh, we had a newsletter called the VGCC News because the community center was called Vancouver Gay Community Center and later became Community. During that time, we had a debate about how best to uh, approach getting straight support for our rights. And some people were saying our, our best uh, approach would be to uh, court the approval of straight people by excluding other people in the community, particularly street people, trans people, drag queens, and sex workers. And I was very indignant about this and said we should not be excluding people. We should not be asking for what I regard as human, universal human rights by saying, for us, but not these people behind us. My message to young gay, lesbian, and trans persons is protect your freedoms. Uh, you, they won't stay there if you don't protect them. A Vancouver Human Rights Council uh, member was uh, Sheila Day, I think was her name, and she once said, human rights is like housekeeping, you have to keep running just to stay in place. So protect those rights, and it's the rights for everybody, because an attack on anybody's human rights is an attack on everybody's human rights.